is a fun and easy way to color any surface. You can color paper, foil, wood, or really just about anything. To do balloon stamping, you simply take an ordinarily, ordinary balloon, blow it up about this size, and you take your biocolor and squeeze it onto a plate. I'm squeezing it so the colors touch. That way, when I press the balloon gently into the colors, I get all the colors on the balloon itself, and I press around and get this really fun pattern. You can also balloon stamp on top of a stencil. I've got this wonderful little dragonfly. I'm going to take the same technique and watch what happens as I bounce it around. The noise is fun. Younger kids will get a kick out of that. And the pattern and rhythm you get from this gross motor activity really teaches children a lot and is fun for them. There's the dragonfly. I'm going to lift this off and then I'm going to show you how this works, not on a store-bought stencil, but rather post-it notes, something that most of you have hanging around. You can take post-it notes and do them plain like this or cut out this little heart that I did and watch what happens here. I'm going to bounce around, pull off the post-it, you get this wonderful little magical shape that you can write a name in. And anything as simple as a paper plate can be decorated with balloon stamping. Also, children at school oftentimes have to do things with books and make book covers. Here we have a book cover done on aluminum foil. If you're working with younger children, choking hazards are sometimes a problem with balloons. So here we have an old stocking with the toe cut out, and I'll show you the same wonderful patterns and textures take place even when you put it in the toe of a stocking. I think balloon stamping is a great way to start with biocolor because it's fun and easy. The kids really like it and I felt like a real pro leading this one. Here are some examples. This is a gift bag, this is a journal cover, this is a face mask, and this is a gift wrap box. This is an aluminum pictured frame. And I have some more complex ideas. Here's a note card made with dried balloon print paper torn into collage pieces. You can also balloon print on bordette to make bulletin border. Here's balloon stamping on a t-shirt, which is fun and always successful. And the children can just balloon print over a simple hand-cut stencil.